as if it's it's just like it's a uh, it's just it's like they're reading stuff on insta blog it's you know it's it's just noise they don't really understand that this is a real problem which is boiling under the surface and which one day not even one day but pretty soon is going to erupt into something else they really genuinely don't get it and i i think i've i've made this point when when i was speaking at the um the cni uk press conference in london in may i made the point that what we what we remember now as the anti-south african riot in lagos in 2019 and the NSAS protests in 2020 that those were not standalone events that that was actually a pattern of growing violence which it's always there's always one an issue that starts it so in 2019 it was supposedly the xenophobic violence against nigerians in johannesburg and then, it's, and then it became something else in Lagos. And then in 2020, it was the COVID-19 lockdown and then so-called uh, the, the one million boys gang violence, which turned into something else. Again, people forget that happened. And then the NSAS, it started obviously as a you know, protest against police brutality or whatnot. Again, started morphing into something else because again, that virulent anger in the underclass, there's a huge, there's a very rich seam of anger that is just waiting for something to tap into it. So the next time there's any kind of pretext, I don't know what it will be, nobody knows, but the next time there's any kind of pretext, no country is gonna go up. You know, especially because the last time it happened, you brought out the military and you shot people. So the next time there's any kind of upheaval like that, people are gonna expect to die. And that's gonna make them a lot more ferocious and a lot more dangerous. So, but the people in, in these leadership positions genuinely do not get it. They do not, all this, everything I'm saying is like, I'm just chirping. They're not hearing it. They're, they're not getting it. So <laughs> people like Apabio, well, I mean, the less said about him, the better. He, I mean, from time, he has never been the most serious person in the world. But what I will say for the benefit of the people around them, because there are people whose job it is to monitor media platforms like this, to watch things like this. So the people around them, if your guy doesn't have sense, at least you you should have sense. Because the thing is that when Nigeria goes up, your guy is going to get into his helicopter, to his private jet, and you are not going to be in it. You are going to be here with the rest of the people that your guy is mocking. So if there's anything that is in your power to do, if there's a way to communicate it to your guy, that the anger on the streets is not a joke. It's not an internet meme. It's real. And it's going to consume everyone. So, I mean, the less said about that, the better.